Hello, welcome to the Mark Janard Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to show you through Kelly Linux how you can change your IP address every two, three seconds. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So before I give you the concrete steps, let's talk about the benefits of changing your IP address frequently on Kali Linux. So changing your IP address frequently on Kali Linux using tools like Auto Tor IP uh, has several be benefits, right? Auto Tor IP changer. Number one, enhance uh, anonymity, right? By regularly changing, regularly changing your IP address, you make it more difficult for website services and potential adversaries to track your online activities or link them to a single identity. Number two, improved privacy. Frequent IP changes, may, you know, help mask your real location and prevent websites from building detailed profiles based on your browsing habits. Number three, bypassing geo restrictions. Changing your IP address allows you to appear as if you are accessing the internet from different locations, potentially bypassing geographical content restrictions. Number four, increased security, right? Regular IP changes can help protect against certain types of attacks that rely on targeting a specific IP address over time. Number five, evading IP based bans or blocks. If a website or service has blocked your IP address, changing it can help regain access, right? Number six, testing and development. For cybersecurity professionals and ethical hackers, the ability to quickly change IP addresses is useful for testing security systems and conducting authorized penetration tests. Number seven, avoiding rate limiting. Some online services impose limits based on IP addresses. Changing your IP can help bypass these restrictions for legitimate purposes. Number eight, simulating different user scenarios. This can be valuable for developers and testers who need to verify how their applications behave for users from various locations. So please take a moment right now, hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button. We're about to get into the concrete ways to do it. Hit that subscribe button right now. So to change your IP address every two to three seconds in Kali Linux, you can use a tool called Auto Tor IP Changer. Here is how to set it up and use it. Number one, open a terminal in Kali Linux and become the root user, right? Peter, you can put that on the screen, the sudo su. Number two, clown or clown, <laughs> clone the auto tour IP changer, the repository, right? Number three, navigate to the downloaded directory. Peter, put that on the screen. Number four, give executable permissions to the install script. Peter, you put that on the screen. Number five, run the installation script. Peter, put that on the screen for the viewers. Once installed, start the auto tour IP changer by typing. Peter, put that on the screen. Configure your browser, uh, you know, whether it's Firefox to use the Tor proxy. Now, what you're gonna do, you're gonna wanna open Firefox settings, go to network settings, select manual proxy configuration, set SOX host to 127.0.0.1, set port to 9050, select SOX v5, click OK to save the settings. Number eight, when prompted, enter the time interval for IP changes. In this case, you can put two, three seconds for changing, you know, every two to three seconds, right? Now nine, for continuous IP changes, enter zero when asked how many times you want to change your IP address. Your IP address will now change automatically every whatever you put at to, right? Two to three seconds. So you can verify this by visiting a website like uh, dnsleaktest.com and refreshing the page every few seconds. You'll notice your apparent location changing with each refresh, okay? So this is very important use this tool responsibly and only for legitimate purposes. I repeat, remember to use this tool responsibly and only change for legitimate purposes. So changing your IP address frequently can be useful for privacy and security, but it should not be used for illegal activities. Here are some legal implications, you know, that you are going to want to take into account. So there's the terms of service violations. Rapidly changing your IP address may violate the terms of service of some websites or online services. This could potentially lead to account suspension, suspensions or bans. Number two, triggering fraud detection systems. Frequent IP changes can be seen as suspicious behavior by many online platforms and may trigger their fraud detection me mechanisms, uh, potentially leading to account restrictions. Uh, number three, circumventing geo restrictions using IP address, IP changes, right? To access geo restricted content may violate copyright laws or license agreements in some jurisdiction. I'm not gonna mess up again, guys. I'm not gonna mess up again. Number four, evading law enforcement. If used to hide illegal activities frequently, changing IPs could be seen as an attempt to obstruct justice. Am I, do y'all think I'm gonna mess up again? Put it, let me know in the comment section below. Number five, violating 
um, network policies. So on corporate or institutional networks, changing your IP without authorization may, may violate network policies and lead to disciplinary action. Disciplinary, you bad, you bad disciplinary. Number six, impact online on transactions. Rapid IP, uh, IP changes during financial transactions or other sensitive online activities could be flagged as potentially fraudulent. While changing your IP address itself is not inherently illegal in most cases, the intent or context matters significantly. If used for legitimate privacy or security purposes, it's generally acceptable. However, using it to engage in or conceal illegal activities can have serious legal consequences. It's important to note that law enforcement agencies can still potentially track activities across multiple IP addresses with proper le legal authorization. Additionally, many websites and services use more sophisticated methods beyond IP addresses to identify users. For enhanced online privacy and security, it's often more effective uh, and less legally ambiguous to use established tools like VPNs from rep reputable providers rather than rapidly changing IP addresses. So. How do different countries regulate IP uh, address changes? So different countries regulate IP address changes and allocations through various mechanisms, often influenced by regional and international policies. So here are some points that you're gonna wanna keep right here, right? Keep right there. So uh, you have the regional internet registries, the RIRs. Uh, the world is divided into five regions, each managed by a regional internet registry, the RIR. So you have the AFRINIC, that's Africa. You have the APNIC, that's Asia Pacific. You have the RN, that's the North America. You have the LACNIC, that's the Latin America and the Caribbean. You have the RIPE NNC. <laughs> that was another mess up, guys. The RIPE NCC, that's Europe, the Middle East, and parts of Central Asia. These RIRs are responsible for allocating and managing IP address blocks within their respective regions. They operate under the jurisdiction and regulatory frameworks of the countries where they are based. So let's talk about the stability of IP address allocations. You have IPv4 addresses, you know, that's the pool of IPv4 um, addresses is officially depleted, meaning no allocations are rare. However, private transfers of IP blocks can still occur which may result in changes in the country association of an IP address. You have the IPv6 address and the IPv6 addresses are more plentiful and new locations can happen frequently. This can lead to more dynamic changes in IP address allocations. That's what I have for you today. Please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and like button again. Please take a moment to hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. I appreciate viewership. Stay safe, see you on the next video.